And I talked about it over on my personal channel and it's pretty much been widely covered. And that is that Vosh and Hassan Piker, both banned from Twitch, I think will be temporarily. I think they'll both be back. But this is the beauty of, you know, watching social justice get eaten alive by their own nonsensical rules. Um, they were both banned. If I'm, Okay, so Hassan was banned for, and it's not as simple as just saying, he didn't just say the word cracker. He literally went after someone and called her a cracker bitch, if I'm not mistaken. Is that what it was? Ryan, have you seen that clip of him it, saying it? it Somebody. It, it was clearly used in... Like, a derogatory in a derogatory sense, sense yeah. correct? Right. Like right. out of anger, yeah. right? And so, and then Vosh, I'm not even sure what Vosh, Vosh said the same thing, right? Is that what it was? I, I didn't yeah. see the clip of what he said, but you know, obviously they're very angry about it. Uh, well, I think Vosh is a little less angry about it, but these are two people that very much, very much have been carrying the banner of private company. Private company can do whatever they want. Quit bitching about it. If you don't like it, don't break the rules. And Again, this comes down to when you invent uh, a, a laundry list of mean words that can't be said, and that laundry list continues to grow based on the society and who wants to pretend to be offended over a new word, eventually that type of logic, it will come back to bite you in your ass. And that's exactly what is done. Ripa, what do you think about this whole story? I mean, these guys get what they fucking deserve as far as I'm uh, <laughs> concerned. It's a, you know, Twitch is a, Twitch is Twitch. Um, um, and the favoritism that they've been playing to that side um, particularly ideologically is what it is. Um, now, like mentioned, more than likely, it's not going to last uh, certainly that long, um, <laughs> but it is what it is. And any it, like what you've said, these guys often appeal to, hey, they can do what it is they want, or rather if it ends up removing people that they consider their political or ideological enemies, it's perfectly fine once that happens. But uh, once it happens, uh, you know, to them, which again, surprising actually that this even – happened um hilariously enough um, i'm interested to see how long and interested to see how uh, like what the impact of this is actually going to be if any at all um because that says a lot that they would even even there go go that route so we'll see i, I look i don't want to jump the gun i'm not i don't i don't know if the pen i don't think the pendulum swinging back quite yet mm -hmm. you know what not i mean yet. Not um, yet. I, I, I don't think it's swinging back quite yet but it to your point um when you do incentivize and encourage this type of behavior it's only and if it's not for this it'll be for something else um it's only a matter of time before you become in, in kind of getting the crosshairs um and you are the one that gets act it's, it's all fun and games when it's your enemy but when it's you um folks are going to have less of a or rather more of a more of a problem with that but you know that's the problem with being kind of inconsistent so those guys get what they fucking deserve i, I saw pike is a fucking dipshit uh anyway <laughs> yes. and um yeah well, no, I, absolutely. I, 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 to, to be fair, and this ain't me hating. Like you know, what I mean, on some serious shit, I have attempted to, and any in, even in people and creators that are in in any kind of creative space, even stuff that I don't understand. Like, well, I won't say that I don't understand that it may not be for me. I can always analyze why this person is in the position that they are in, or why this is doing as good as it does. Hassan no, Piker, Hassan. I can't fucking understand it. <laughs> the guy's a dumbass. Like he's he's literally fucking stupid. He speaks in vague, generic senses when he's talking in a political uh, uh, in a political aspect. I don't know if you guys heard. I've even did a response video. This idiot talking about libertarian. The guy's a fucking brainless. I, I haven't like, paid a lot. I haven't paid a lot of attention. Like, he's not like, paid a lot of attention stupid. to him. When I say stupid, like at least I'm not I'm not crediting Vosh. But at least, like, he's, he's at least he's consistent and yeah. makes arguments that have basis in where his logic is coming exactly. from. Exactly, you can respect. Piker is just yeah. a fucking brainlet. The dude is just a fucking brainlet. So it's very impressive that he has the following over there that he does. Because I, he's one of the people in the creative space that I just, I do not understand the fucking appeal. Yeah, it's funny you you had mentioned the pendulum. I was gonna say like, it feels like maybe at least for people like him, the pendulum might be starting to swing back. It mm -hmm. feels like a lot of people are seeing like there's. He's not saying anything. And a lot of people in that, that sphere got super popular super quickly. But now it's like, well, wait a second. They're contradicting themselves. A lot of what they say don't, doesn't make sense. And then, you know, another aspect of the pendulum is that if you actually apply some of the guidelines that they're advocating for, this is what happens. Then they're banned under their own because to the letter of the law on Twitch mm -hmm. TOS, they did something that should result in an indefinite suspension. Yeah. So because they're enforcing it, now Twitch is bad because they're enforcing what they should enforce. 
based on their rules. And it's like, yeah, the pendulum, right? Like, like you said, I don't know if it's coming back yet, but it's going to come back. Oh, it always does. It's yeah. going to come back eventually at, at some point in time. And that's, that's when uh, things are going to get really spicy. And I'm excited for that time. I don't know when it's going to be. Um, but once it does swing back, the people that get hit on the way back is going to be is going to be uh, very interesting. I don't know how that's going to look. What what yeah, do we he's think about water. the timing? Yeah, he's been in hot water there. before because of, yeah. like, he's a he's a raging leftist, and you know he's buying this million dollar fucking. Exactly. Well, he's been this is his yeah, third ban on Twitch. His third ban, if oh, I'm not is? mistaken. I didn't know that. So, that I didn't yeah, it's the third time. Uh, Dexerto uh, posted a thing that said that you know Hassan facing his third Twitch ban, which means he hasn't been banned. <laughs> it means he's facing a third <laughs> Twitch suspension, is what that means. But I mean, do we think that there's something to this? These are two of the more prominent, you know, leftist I, yes, gaming streamers. Sure. Do we think that they're trying to send a message with this, Ryan? I think that they're... I, I think there's a potential that they're trying to send a, a message, a false message. Like, look at us. Look at what we're willing to do. We're willing to suspend them. We're, we're an equal platform like that with the full knowledge that they're just going to reinstate them and it's not going to be that big of a deal, but it's going to blow up. And so everyone's going to be able to point to this moment and be like, that look, is true. look, Twitch. Uh, I mean, they banned two of the biggest streamers for saying something that was derogatory towards white people. They must be a fair and platform, that kind of thing. That's mm -hmm. kind of where I see it coming from, um, where they would do something like this just to appease the public and appease everyone. So that in the future, people can't really hold that type of thing against them. Yeah, that's what I, that's to where tell I them see to, like, to cut the shit, you know, because like the way that they were going about this cracker thing absolutely eroded their ideological platform. It yes. did. Like there was no, con not just a lack of consistency. There was like a concrete, like by definition thing you could point to and say, this is not just hypocrisy. Like you're going flying in the face of everything that you're talking about. And they might have been saying like, hey, guys, like cut it out. Like you, this is just so far beyond the pale th where it doesn't make any sense that we have to do something. So yeah, they also probably play into the fact that later on, on down the line, they can say, oh, we did this and it placated that group. So this benefits us from a business perspective, but yeah. I, and they'll probably, they will be back. I, I would agree with you on that. Yeah, the, yeah, the, I, I think they will. Go ahead, Disbrew. The issue is if you look at where Twitch is in a platform, that they're, they're to the top, but they're not in a good place. They've been hit with uh, issue after issue from hot tub streamers to everything else and it's destroyed their reputation and it made a load of their biggest streamers already leave tim the tapman's left dr lupo's left they lost dr disrespect uh, ludwig who i think was the biggest on the platform has just gone and so they've lost a load of talent youtube's making big plays with contracts and twitch they're they're just in the gutter with their reputation and so when you have people like this just openly saying it they're not even yeah. trying to hide they, it they were cocky it. cocky yeah, yeah. And Va Vosh, uh, from the clip I saw, wasn't using it derogatorily, but you can't just go around having people... Like, there's a reason why there's all these sort of minds put in language for people to trip over, and you can't think that you're an exception to that, because Twitch, they've been pushing advertisements really hard. Although I would think they'd go for more subscribers and uh, subscriptions and bits, they want advertisers. And nobody wanted to like people have actually been staying away from the platform because of things like the hot tub streams. Hot tub no, shit, yeah. yep. no one wants their uh, sort of advertisements on that kind of platform, and so they'll just stay away completely. And then if it comes out like this that people are just using racial slurs, whether they think that's bad or not, you're going to destroy the entire platform. And whether it's just a temporary slap or not, they had to be told there is a line, and you're going to have to obey it. Yeah. Yeah. And just just to be very clear. I think that they should be able to say whatever the hell they want. Uh, I think they should be able but, to say but that absolutely goes for everybody. anything. That goes but for that everybody. is for every single person. I think right. I should be able to say whatever I want, use whatever language I want. And I think the same thing for people like Hassan Piker and Vouch and anybody else. Because at the end of the day, these are words, uh, and you shouldn't be a pussy about it. Uh, <laughs> like, I, honestly. And the fact that... The fact is, they have set it up this way. They have tried to define these terms like hate speech and things like that, but they don't like it when it's applied in their direction. Yeah, I mean, as a, we played a clip of it last last week. I found a clip of a, of a old Modern Warfare 2 lobby, and that's just a standard you have to create now. Could this person survive a Modern Warfare 2 lobby based <laughs> on what they say? And and most of them can't. And no. we, we all know what that meant because that a Modern Warfare 2 lobby is the world Ryan wants to live in. It's the world we all want to live in where <laughs> anybody can say whatever. And if you can hang, then you can hang. And if you can't hang, then you're going to leave. And, and that's kind of what it, it should be. But... I don't know. It's interesting. It's an interesting theory that Ryan had because it is there. There is something there is something to this. 
what i'm not sure but with vosh and hassan being banned simultaneously there is something to it i don't know yeah. what but ryan's theory about them trying to send a message to so oh you know we're not what you think we are which in fact they are because it's hard for me to believe that twitch would do this just because they felt like they didn't they thought it was no there's always a reason so. like there's no yeah. it's not because they all of a sudden woke up and wanted to be fair and balanced uh no yeah. that's not what it was there's something at play it could be speaking to what what disparu was saying maybe it's ad advertisements and maybe there is something that they're seeing in terms of the writing um that's on the wall and all that stuff is in play and something worth considering you know ryan's point uh it, it is something worth considering but you know to you know up edge and gaming the same thing is like if it, it could be a mark of a pendulum swinging back because what you're going but th to be fair my opinion is this is kind of the stuff that we're going to see when it does start to swing back i'm not ready to say that it is but this is the type of stuff that you're going to see you're going to see people that are in powerful spaces or in powerful places try to get ahead of it you know what i mean and try to take more because it's going to be far more convenient than what it had been maybe in the last certainly in a few years when there's just social just social just social justice uh, once it starts like becoming unappealing, let's say in some sense, and maybe it impacts their bottom line, this is the type of stuff that you're going to see. You're going to see celebrities uh, that were on the other side start to all of a sudden start making a little sense. Um, you'll see companies try to get uh, try to become or, or uh, like act as if oh we were one of the good guys because they don't want to unfortunately get hit once the pendulum swings um and have that sort of success fall into maybe the hands of their competitors or something like that so this is kind of how it would look i'm not as ready to say that this is what's happening but this is kind of how it would look yeah, yeah it's gonna be like um like in toy story like those really really far to the left like way absurd ones like i don't want to play with you anymore woody like the companies are going <laughs> to drop and be like oh no 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 yeah yeah uh, that's good the, uh, yeah the funniest that's thing one. is yesterday vosh tweeted the left needs a big streamer who isn't known for using racial slurs and i'm stepping onto up to the plate <laughs> yeah, and then got banned that. for using them yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like literally the same day yeah that's impressive. Uh, it's beautiful that's it's impressive. a beautiful thing